nothing will give you a better understanding of the way women's minds and bodies work than a career in porn. In today's video, I'm going to share with you the six biggest and most unique insights about women that I've learned during my career in porn. My name is Sterling Cooper, I'm an award-winning adult film star, former high-class male companion, and I'm here to help you improve your sex life. Insight number one. Women are very similar physically. For the most part, most women tend to respond to the exact same things done to them physically. All women tend to be very, very similar in this regard. For example, most of them love having their hair pulled. Most of them love being spanked, etc, etc, etc. There's patterns you start to recognize once you've been with a certain number of women. Now, from what I can tell though, guys probably aren't like this. And here's why I think this. Because most women in porn are actually fucking terrible at giving hand jobs and blow jobs. There's the few rare exceptions who I've worked with who are really, really fucking good at it. But for the most part, most of them are absolute garbage at giving hand jobs and blow jobs. And this kind of tells me that most dudes are actually kind of different in what they like because they probably learned how to give a blowjob or a handjob to their partner, their significant other, their boyfriend or whatever, and that's their technique, and so they're just applying the same technique to like every dude, right? But I am not the only guy in the adult film industry to have this opinion. I'm simply the only one who's willing to say it out loud. Now, insight number two is actually a nice exception to insight number one. And this is the one thing that has the most variance amongst anything you can do to a woman physically. It's the one source of physical stimulation that you can apply to a woman that is so hit or miss among whether they like it or how much they can take. And that is nipple stimulation. Some women, you, they barely want you to touch their nipples. Just a little lick here and there, don't squeeze it too hard, barely touch it, they can't take it. Others damn near want you to rip the things off their chest. It is so varied. And the other thing about it is it is so unpredictable. It's got nothing to do with breast size, it's got nothing to do with areola size, it's got nothing to do with, with, with height or size of the lady, it's got nothing to do with an ethnicity, it's so varied. This is the one thing, gentlemen, I guarantee you that is absolutely hit and miss, a complete shot in the dark. Whether or not she likes having, whether or not she likes extreme nipple play or light nipple play. Insight number three is women will not respect a man that doesn't lead in the bedroom. And let me tell you how I came across this insight. When I'm starting off as a new performer, right? Sometimes I would get paired with women who were more experienced than me in porn. They've been, they've been in the industry for, for more years than me. So as a relatively new performer, learning the ropes, learning how things go, uh, especially when I was in sort of new cities and new industries, new, new countries, learning the ropes there, I would sometimes defer to her. Like, oh, well, she's been in the industry 6, 10, 15 years or something. Okay, well, let's, how, how would she run the show today? Maybe I'm going to learn something. That was actually a mistake for the most part. What I found it was that even if she has more experience than me in the bedroom, in this career of pornography, she still wants me to lead the scenario. And although we may have gotten a better scene because she, out of it overall, because she was sort of direct, uh, kind of, you know, directing from the inside, you know, like dictating what positions to do, what to do next, aligning up the camera properly for angles and shots, even though technically we might have got a better scene out of it, I noticed that the women that I did that for, that I that had more experience than me, that I let sort of leave the sexual, uh, the sex scene rather, they had less respect for me during the rest of my career than women who I led the scene for. And I noticed this because I started experimenting with it. And then 
And the next time I'd be paired with a girl who was say, far more experienced than me, if I just completely took control and owned it and acted like I had more experience than her, bam. Scene, also, scene obviously still went well, but that interaction, that relationship, relationship with that woman was far better the next times we've interacted either on set or off set. And that tells me that it came down to respect. Insight number four is that it's never going to go down well with a woman if you are apologetic and shy about your fantasies, desires, kinks, and turn-ons. That is never going to go down in a positive way. It's always going to make you look unconfident, low self-esteem, shy, maybe a bit needy, uh, inexperienced, whatever. So it's always a good thing, and this is partly what I learned about myself and I learned through my career in porn, was learning to accept the things that I found attractive in women, the things that I found turn-ons, the things that I kind of developed into fetishes or whatever, learning to accept them and embrace them and be completely unapologetic about them. And I would highly encourage every man to do the same because it always goes down better with a woman if you're completely unapologetic about who you are and what you like as a man. Insight number five relates to fantasies. Now, men's fantasies tend to be about things, objects, body parts, clothing, right? That's where men's sexual fantasy realm tends to sit. Women's sexual fantasies, in large part, tend to be about domination. They tend to be about being dominated, sometimes humiliated, sometimes degraded, but for the most part, they tend to be about being taken. In large, most women's sexual fantasies are relatively similar in that sense. It's just they're either more or less extreme versions of the same thing. Insight number six is kind of an unfortunate one, and it's that when women are given a ton of power and a ton of authority and no responsibility, they become petty tyrants. Lots of power plus no accountability equals tyrant. And the perfect example of this is female porn stars on Twitter. What you'll see is you'll very, very often see female porn stars uh, ganging up and sending all of their simpy white knight fans after whoever's pissed them off, basically. If someone's pissed them off, someone's said something that they find offensive, someone's, I don't know, campaigning for the wrong thing on Twitter, they have some kind of disagreement, they'll very, very often send their throng, their horde of white knights crusading into battle on Twitter against somebody. Even if they were completely wrong to do so. Now, if you want more juicy insights into the adult film industry, I suggest you listen to my story about the most awkward film set in history.